Not really. I'm not going to blow it up. Gary's mod, I'm fine. The lack of crutch restraints is a bit unnerving. Yes. Yes, because that's what you want on a road, something to crush your balls into pure dust. God, I hate those things. Worst part of working at a fun fair. Making those things clip down on fat people. Oh, oh. Sorry, sir, it's got to be tight. It's like one of those Play Doh toys where you squeeze it all through a mold. It's horrifying. It's got to be tight. I'm sorry, sir, it has to be tight. We have to do at least two clicks. Click. They're all bulging oh, over the bar. Oh. <laughs> You're like, just hold on to the handrail, but the handrail's where my intestines would be right now. <laughs> That's just nasty. That's awesome. Aye, uh, it was one fun summer. But I've never found a jacket I liked since. I should have stole the one that was there. Wee, This is nice. I like this. It was nice and gentle and smooth and relaxing. Yeah. What do you mean, did I go in a carrot? No, this is a permanent chair, like, bolted to the floor. So it was one summer and then they fired me. Well, the summer ended and they never called me back for some reason. I think it was because <laughs> there was... Well, there was this sign on my ride that was screwed to the desk, but I used to sit on the desk so the screws would jab me in the leg. So I got bored and turned all the screws around so they jabbed all the customers in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is such a nice person. I am, I just like to sit comfortably. And then there was time, I was on another road, we had a projector, and the bulbs went. This projector is like a story and a half up in the air. And they went, oh, you can get the bulb out of that, can't you? Yeah, uh, yeah I'll get the other guy to do it. So he climbs up this crappy scaffolding. He's a, he's a story and a half in the air, just sort of desperately trying to rip, rip this bulb out of a machine while I poke him with a broom. Go on, fire, go on! <laughs> Then there was the time the hoover nearly exploded. But you gotta keep your eye clean, so I had a little hoover. Then I didn't notice the floor was wet. Then lots of smoke started pouring out of the hoover. <laughs> <laughs> but me, being the genius I am, just walk up to the and I just turn it off. <laughs> now this is a little indoor ride. So I got a shock off the hoover and had to turn it off with a broom. I wouldn't come down the bottom, there's ropes and evil everywhere. And my door. Well, there's your door. You can have it's horrific. What? Why do you have this gigantic mono cylinder engine? It's kind of big. Yeah. I'll put it up in case Dave needed a reference. Unless he's all fine. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I got. This was like. 